Oh, the beauty of living behind the wheel of a car. This is Dundalk, Maryland. I can only hope I can get some pretty good pictures. This is where they bring in uh, cars. They transport cars out of this Dundalk area. And I've driven by here numerous times, and it's just crazy how many cars are at this port. Believe it or not, I've actually been in this port back like 1992 or 93 trying to sell a automotive cleaning product so yeah i've been in through a lot of doors in my lifetime so you know the, this is the baltimore harbor so this is where all the ships come in you can see over there so uh hopefully i can get some i'm a little higher up in this vehicle so maybe we get some pretty good pictures i don't know this is the the one lane road it just doesn't end construction Pretty neat, you can see the reflection of the, the Bronco the lights and all. I can see that guy's tailgate, you know. Uh, we're going to the inner harbor through the tunnel, the Raptor, a lot of fun. It's a lot, of, I mean, this vehicle is just so smooth. I mean, it's just beyond believable. This thing is so smooth. I mean, I just can't have set eyes. I mean, it's borderline like driving around on my. Ford Expedition. I mean, I, I mean, even for me, it's like, nah, it's not that radical. But I'm telling you what, it is just so damn comfortable. It's incredible. Going for the height thing. Yeah, my wife would enjoy riding this thing, but she's not gonna like how she has to crawl up into the vehicle. So there's the there's the uh, the port there. All the cars are. You really can't see much right now. Here's all the trains with the oil on them. So, how about that? This is the blue collar. Baltimore is more of the blue collar city versus Washington, D.C. Yeah, it's the white collar. Political. Look at that. That's something. Just, you just, you know, these people think the trains aren't around, if you kind of know what I mean by that. You, yeah, the fossil fuels, right? Challenges. So, uh, Look at the, the terminal, the port up there, those cranes and all. You know, I can't you see that or not. But yeah, so here, we're coming up here in the carport, and i got to get my fast tool out. So I'm going to kind of watch. But look at this here. Look at that. The ocean of cars. There's an ocean of vehicles. Wow. Just incredible. Look at that. Look at all the cars. Yeah, I know. Look at this here. I just don't know. Holding a phone and driving and looking around. Look at that. Look at all the vehicles. This is what just befuddles me. Is look, look at that. <laughs> and over there. And there. Look at that. All the rams. And up on top of the hill. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh. I mean, come on, what is going on, right? Uh, I made a whole video, of it. it's confusing times. I mean, just on one end of the hand, you're hearing that people are pulling back and buying used cars. And on the other hand, you see how there's so many cars that are new just sitting in lots. Yeah, will the truth ever prevail? Oh, look at this thing here. This thing is so... It's just beyond believable how smooth this vehicle is for the, the you know, the 37-inch tires. Wow. Just phenomenal. This guy here is riding, riding the line. So, I mean, just, can you hear it? Right, we got through the tunnel without the water coming in on us. And boy, I tell you what, I, I just don't know, you know, for anybody to watch my video, if they can really, you know, just sense how calm this vehicle is. It's just incredible. I mean, it just really is. I and mean, this is definitely a vehicle you could go across the country. I mean. 
you could just live out of this vehicle. I mean, for the most part. I mean, definitely the I put the little water bottle holders on the sides here, so that gives me, you know, that extra water bottle holders. Otherwise, it's piddly. Yeah, it's piddly on the uh, water bottle storage. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, I'm just saying that the comfort of the way it drives and rides. It's extremely comfortable. Seats are very comfortable. Seating posture, your visibility, your presence on the road. So it's just really a, a very confident vehicle. And it's not noisy. And it doesn't, you know, beat you up, jar you around. It just soaks up the bumps. World tour vehicle, it could be, I mean, there's no doubt. This thing can go over the world. The challenge would probably be the fuel situation in certain parts of the world. But oh my gosh, it's just, just incredible riding vehicle. Look, there's more cars over there. I can't even get the picture of it all the thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, you know, are the, are the manufacturers hiding all these cars? I don't know. It's information. We have so much information, but yet it's more than ever it's twisted. There's more railroad. So what's interesting is the Keystone Pipeline. That's been a you know that's the conservative base. People want the Keystone Pipeline come out of Canada. So it was really interesting. The other day, I was watching a video and the gentleman was talking about the oil diesel fuel challenges ahead and so he was asked you know what about the keystone pipeline would that make any difference and he said eh, not really he said really what's what the real story of the keystone pipeline is instead of trains coming out of canada with the oil then you just have a pipeline the wool's going through that that's really so what's interesting is oil still coming out of canada it just comes by train so it's so delusional. People, I mean, it's just beyond believable that, you know, so the Greenies don't want the uh, pipeline coming down, but yet it still comes down. It just comes on a diesel burning fossil fuel train. So actually it's more damage to the environment because you have to run trains 24 seven to bring this, the, uh, the fuel into this country. People are just bird brains. Remember that saying back in the day? You bird brain. That was so I mean, I, I think about that when I was growing up. My sister, my sister used to say that. You bird brain. Yeah, what's that I'm playing? You got a little itty bitty brain. You're stupid. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's yeah, bird brains. The bird brains. Yeah. When's that saying going to come back, right? <laughs> uh, you know, where did that come from, right? Where did that yeah, well, there's a bunch of bird brains that wanted to shut down the, let them shut down the Keystone pipelines. They think they're saving the world, but yet now you have diesel trains running 24/7, doing the same thing, bringing the oil down. Uh, it's so people sadly, so many people are confused. Like I said, I remember that video, confused. Yeah, confusing times. All right, here we are, the big open. And yeah, we're gonna have a good day today. We're in some good miles in this thing. Four days out, I'll have over 200 miles. May have to buy, I don't know if I'll be buying fuel before I get back or not. And uh, yeah, I mean, just a great, just a while. Uh, you know, the one thing about my other Bronco is I had to park it. I loved driving that vehicle so much. Vehicle. I think it had over 20,000 miles on it. Yeah, I mean, easily, easily, if not more. So for me, I just love that red Bronco because I just love the way it drives. And here's the thing. Here's the same ball game. The way this thing drives, and it's just so much fun. It's just a really fun vehicle. Very confident, very comfortable vehicle. 
oh, yeah, yeah. And sitting higher above the ground, it's that kind of give me that a little bit more of that, you know, less road noise. Possibly. Am I going to New York? All right, I'm going to have to kind of pick up the pace here because I'm on the big road now. People up here in this 95 stretch, this is the 90 mile, 100 mile hour drive in this area. Yeah. All right, coming out of Royal Farms up here in Bel Air, Maryland, and man, they got good chicken. I love their chicken up here. Look at this Bronco. We got Raptor. Look at all the uh, the decals, the theme. What do you think of the theme here? I think they did a pretty good job in the decal theme. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of works for me. It's like they didn't give you all their covers. I don't know. See up here? I mean, I guess that's possible. i to look into that, won't I? But yeah, look at that, huh? There you go. Pretty good, right? Wow, look at this here. This sunlight... This is the first time you really see that blue. That's something. Let's see back here. Same thing. Look at that blue. I mean, it's so uh, dark. It's hard to see in here. And uh, you see, the water bottle is the problem. See here, I put these aftermarket little uh, storage. That's huge. Because there's just not enough storage up here for your water. This is a day you should have the top off. But taking these tops off, that's a project. These things are not light. I mean, that takes some muscle. And then you take the whole thing apart. I mean, it's a project. Then you have to have somewhere to uh, actually put the, uh, the top of the uh, top. Oh my goodness, I am hungry. I have eaten in quite a while. It's already, I mean, already. I'll get back into 3, 3.30 at best already. Follow me along in the Bronco day. I mean, which is, isn't this thing just so cool? I mean, oh my gosh. Even for me, I was like, for what and for why? Yeah, but that red hot, that hot pepper red Bronco, wow, I can't say red hot chili peppers anymore. But that was just a nice vehicle. So here's the fuel prices up here. 3.70, six bucks for diesel. Well, I tell you what, I'll be amazed that in January if that doesn't say 472 and the diesel isn't 699. Wow. Look at that blue. Look how blue the Raptor, the Raptor is. I mean, so I'm just guessing it's the Ford blue. Why did Ford pick blue? I wonder if the story, I've never even looked that up. What's the story of the blue? See the red stripe on the uh, steering wheel? That's so you know where the center of this here steering wheel is. You're driving by, I guess you get so beat up, bouncing around. I guess you can kind of lose your bearing of where the straight is. Is that what that's all about? With your helmet on and doing some pretty crazy stuff. So I got 16 miles a gallon. Not too shabby. Oh, so get this. I say just texted me and he goes, Do you still have the original muffler to that hot pepper red Bronco? <laughs> nope, I don't. I mean hindsight probably should have kept that stuff with today's and never ending enforcing regulations. Yeah, so what I'm guessing in the state of Maryland, I think you have to put the car has to go through a complete inspection and I I guess I mean, it just doesn't make any sense because I bought those diesel trucks. The one diesel truck didn't have a factory exhaust on it, so I don't know. Who knows? But the whole point is, I'm assuming that he's reaching out to me because they need to put the original stock exhaust back on that thing. What a bummer. That's too bad. Yeah, I wonder if I can use it on this one. I don't see how because I'd lose that uh, adjustable. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, for them to take it off, me to, yeah, forget that. <laughs> Too much work, right? 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'd say, let me have it before you throw it away. In all reality, I, I should ask my sales guy that question. I need to make some phone calls, figure out what exhaust can I use on this. I need to call my buddies down at Lethal Performance. That's what I think I'm going to do. There's an idea, right? Well, I chicken looks really good. Chicken breast and some, you know, big potatoes, like steak potatoes, and had a Chesapeake Bay or seasoning on Chesapeake season on whatever they call it. Yeah, so uh, it's always not too. Yeah, we're gonna have 200 miles on the truck here before long. Do not. Cass is doing a little better than I thought. Nice to know I can drive a decent amount of miles without having to fill up. But for me. Yeah, I'm going to put some, like, drive around every day. There's no way. I mean, you know, I'll drive it. I'll take it on road trips. I'll do things. But as far as just, like, working out of it all the time, I can't see that happening. Another beautiful day up here in this Maryland area. Just beautiful. What's that all about, right? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and well, I just made a phone call to Lethal Performance down there in Florida, and Jared, like with the key guy down there, he just got a Raptor. Dang it. Dang it. I was wanting to have a Raptor before he had one. Yeah, if you ever watch Lethal Performance YouTube videos of him promoting his products, you'll get what I'm saying about that. He's a character. So, uh, but no, there's no exhaust. There's nothing available at this time. The, the guy that I talked to you on the phone, JJ, he, uh, he speculates probably a good month, two months out, because this is just a whole different drivetrain, suspension, different engine, and he claims that, yeah, for sure, that when they do get an exhaust for it, no doubt in his mind, it'll have the uh, capability to put in the uh, adjustable uh, valve to make it so you can have the uh, change of exhaust notes, the exhaust valve, basically. He says it'll come to come with an exhaust valve setup but you just take your technology out of your existing exhaust you put it in that new exhaust and then you still have your uh, capability to change the different noise level on your exhaust that would be really cool but unfortunately there's nothing going to be around anytime soon and then any other product same thing there's just nothing here the Bronco Raptor is just way too fresh into the market right now and it's just nothing really there for you to do much more than uh, tint your windows, buy some Ford accessories, and there's no doubt there's definitely interchangeable things I'm not saying there's a tons of other stuff same cab, I'm just saying when it comes to performance end, it's going to be a uh, it's gonna be a little lag time, but I have this vehicle right now in this sport mode you just cannot tell I mean it's just very very lame, in my opinion, it's lame. Very quiet. Oh, the never ending traffic, traffic, traffic. I just drove this part of the road, not even well, I drove it last night, and I'm back on the road again, same area. It is Coons Bulkman Forge right over there. You can see it from the uh, it's right over there. I wish I had an exit ramp right here to get off and on and get over there because it'd be so much easier to do. Uh, to get out of that, you know, to get in that place, out of that place, off this road, it's very challenging. And uh, never ending roads and road work and people. So, yeah, anyways, the, it's the Bronco Raptor. Keep on saying Bronco. Even I was talking to guys, like, yeah, do you get a Bronco? I mean, you get a Raptor. I mean, I'm just so used to saying the Bronco. Yeah, then the danger is, oh, I had a guy come up to me at a gas station and say, uh, hey, is that a Raptor? And I said, yeah. And he goes, I thought they only made a truck Raptor. I said, yeah, they used to, but now they make a Bronco Raptor. He's like, wow, that's really nice. I said, oh, thank you, sir. And, but he was on the page like, they don't make a Raptor SUV type of vehicle. So he's not even abreast to the Raptor product line. Yeah, he didn't know that there's a Ford Bronco Raptor. A lot of people. I can, I can promise you so many people. Oh, here's my dad. 
Oh, here we come back in and the sunshine's gone. Temperatures are about the same, but hey, the change is upon us. It's just beautiful weather up here, but I guess at some point the rains and the sunshine change on us, right? But yeah, what a day. What a beautiful car. Beautiful, what do you call it? A truck, an SUV, a Raptor, a Raptor, a Bronco. We I mean, think about how many names. There's, it's a Ford. It's a Bronco. It's a Raptor. It's a Raptor. It's an SUV. It's a four-wheel drive. It's a truck. I mean, how many different, you know, what? how many things can you categorize it in, right? Yeah, well, anyways, coming back in. We got close to 261 miles on her now. Breaking her in, and that's... want to get that 1,000-mile mark so that I can tow. I want to be able to tow. I want to take this thing Thanksgiving to Tennessee. That's my goal. So, in all reality, if I ride around this thing for four or five days, yeah, it's it's a thousand miles. So, uh, I can rack them up pretty easy. So, anyways, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying the video as I drive down the road and you feel like you're sitting next to me as we're hanging out together and talking and hood and checking out the Raptor hood and, and uh, enjoying the scenery and. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea, right? Just enjoy the scenery and see what's going on and, and feel like you're right here next to me, right? Yeah, but you just can't say anything. That's the difference. What a, what a deal. A dog, right? You can say all you want. The dog just sits there and looks at you, right? Is that why we like dogs so much? Yeah, man's best friend? Yeah. Have you figured that out yet? Yeah. All right, everybody. Appreciate you watching my channel. And are there more adventures? I think there will be. Are there more stories? There will be. It's just incredible how the fall and winter and how this thing doing this. See, this thing would be a blast and a blizzard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Blizzard time. This thing would just be rocking and rolling. Yeah, I've done that in my FJ Cruiser. All right, everybody, thanks for watching Ice Age TV, Bronco Raptor Braptor Adventures, and stay tuned for more information and more uh, and more fun time, we hope. God bless, and have a great evening. All right, now it's time to get some stuff for the Bronco. You know, it's interesting, I think it has that, you have to have the right angle on that thing to really get that look like all cars and it's something like cars just like people where uh if you don't have the right angle it just doesn't look that great all right it's auto zone time wow look at i got look at this for six bucks now you know it's a four dealer this thing now is like close to 30 bucks yeah not a great deal look at that hey it matches the want the bronco I really want the Bronco, you know, Raptor, I should say. I really want the Raptor happy. You know, think it through. That's so generic now. Is it the Raptor Bronco? Is it the Raptor? Oh, my tools are back here. I can't, I can't remember anything, so I'll just throw everything over there. And my food, my hat, and my glasses. But look at that. See that? So it's interesting, the different time of day, how you can just see this cheer better. So this is really probably the best... To me, this is probably the best view yet I've seen in this interior. How you really see the theme better and the, the uh, seat belts and everything. That's that's a you know that's an extra to get the uh, orange belts. Then it has the the padding you know in the in the roof liner. There's so many little things that these things have that start to add up. The bill on these uh, Broncos just for anybody out there want to buy one, you, know, you can get them really cheap, but at the same time. You start adding all those little things, and bing, bam, done. All right, I said I'd be done talking a while ago, right? Oh, cool. This is taking me in the back way. Show you a little bit of the back. I just can't get over how it, at 5 o'clock. Eh, it's not 5 o'clock, but I just can't get over how they're close. This, this can't be right. There's no way. I mean, they had, believe it or not, in this area, they make these construction companies abide by times. It's just really 
kills the traffic, but I don't know. Anyways, we're going to get the back road adventure. So a little bit, nothing radical, just the back roads. And we'll share that with you.